Hey, hello everyone, welcome to NAS FAQ. And today's topic and question is, can I set the NAS as a DHCP server? And if yes, how can I configure it? So the answer would be yes, you can actually set the NAS as a DHCP server. And how do I configure it? I'll just show you the next few steps when I've switched screens from this one to the computer demonstration video. But before moving on, I'll just uh, say you, to you that I suggest you log in via web browser to the NAS QTS using your admin account. So when you move on, try to identify control panel and then go from control panel and uh, find the network and file services as shown here, where you can manage everything under the network and virtual switch. Once you click there, you'll be greeted by this window. And for this video demonstration, I'll be using a QNAP NAS TVS873. And as you see here, it has four different ports. And I'll try to use the adapter number four to actually demonstrate on how to set the DHCP server and how to configure it. So on the left hand side, after net uh, under network, and uh, you'll try to see DHCP server here. Once you click there, you'll be landing in this page and click add. Once you click add, you'll see that uh, this uh, small uh, window, it has four simple steps that you'll be required to complete in order to set the DHCP server and it allows every adapter to set up its own DHCP server here. So in this step, you choose the interface, in this case, adapter number four, and then you continue next and have three different options to choose. First would be enable the ACP server on the current network, reassign an IP address to the adapter and enable the ACP server on a new subnet, or enable the ACP server for another subnet. Before we move on, I want to make a short statement on a note that is here under the help button that do not enable DHCP server if there is one on the local network to avoid IP address conflicts or network access errors. So in this case for uh, video purposes, I will go ahead and enable DHCP server on the current network. And then you will be reminded by again, similar window and a similar note here. So once click yes, and uh, here in this part, we will try to identify the fixed IP address and everything. And if you want to set up a private network and uh, not uh, directly do anything, so you leave the default gateway blank in this case. And the next step toward the next layer of the connection and devices that you want to assign, we set the range of the IP addresses. So we set, uh, say, one uh, range that I want to set here, say 168.0, starting from 1, and then I have 168.0, say, for 100. So it will be around uh, almost 100 devices assigned IPs by DHCP. And in this case, you actually have to set the default gateway the same as the previous IP address here. So it has to be, if I remember correctly, it was 254.11.38. And then once you click apply, you will be waiting for this uh, to establish. And then uh, you will see that we have the start uh, IP address, end IP address, subnet mask. So this set the range of IP addresses allocated by the NAS to the DHCP clients. And also we said, said that default gateway, which is optional, enter the IP address of the default gateway for the DHCP server, or let this field empty if you don't want this network to access the internet. So as the task has finished, we have the status here the adapter for IP address is set and the range of the IP. To confirm this one, we go to the overview of the network and virtual switches. And then we see that the adapter for, you see it has already been established uh, for the DHCP server. So yeah, this is, a, this is it 
for today. This is NAS FAQ and this is how you actually set the NAS as a DHCP server and you how, see how you can configure it based on what you need. So I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.